Hey Eagles, it's Mrs. Gerber. I'm coming to you from my kitchen, my dining room, and I'm finally able to grab a few seconds to <clears throat> hopefully fully video this video I've been trying to make for about three weeks. It's been driving me absolutely bonkers that I haven't been able to um, get this video made. I've just had a lot of problems. So I'm hoping that today we will cross our fingers that I will not be having any problems because the book I'm about to share with you is phenomenal and I'm super duper excited um, to be able to tell and to share this book with you. So um, I found this book because it is on an Illinois book award list and so I've been trying to read as many book award books as I can here in Illinois and um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because from the cover it just didn't seem like something I would enjoy because I'm not a really big fantasy reader but this one had just the right mix of fantasy and realness so um, it ended up being a really great read. Now I would highly recommend this book for probably fifth grade and through middle school. Um, there's nothing really like inappropriate in it by any means. It's just one of those books that I don't know um, if younger grades will really understand some of the concepts. So um, the cool thing about this book is that it is a mix of a chapter book and a graphic novel. So in between these chapters, um, the author has woven a graphic novel comic that um, plays a really big role in this book. So this book is called I Am Princess X. It's by Sherry Priest. This is actually the very first book that Sherry has ever written and it was phenomenal. So I'm hoping that this ends up becoming a series. Um, and so this is I Am Princess X. It is about Oh, and I have it upside down. My daughter's been playing with my book again. Um, it is about two best friends. Um, I believe their names are May and Libby. May and Libby. And so May, when they meet, um, they find out that they are both really good at things that make sense together. For example, May is really good at storytelling. She is a phenomenal writer. Um, and Libby, on the other hand, is a beautiful artist. She is really good at drawing. And so when they become friends, um, they kind of bond over this one day on the playground where Libby draws out this character this princess character that looks like right here and um may kind of tells a story weaves together a story to go along with that and so they become friends really really close friends and as they become closer and closer they actually sit down together and they write a princess x comic book or several comic books um, but then around the age of 13 for the girls tragedy strikes Libby's mom gets in a car accident and ends up driving the car off of a bridge and into water and um, May thinks that it has killed her. Everybody on the planet thinks Libby is dead. Um, so May's life kind of starts to fall apart because she's not only lost her best friend, but Libby's dad ends up throwing away or getting rid of all of the Princess X Princess X comic books that are at Libby's house. He gets rid of them. He doesn't want to remember his daughter that way. And so um, not only has May lost her best friend, but she's also lost the comic book that has really kind of um, given her a purpose for living. And so um, May ends up, the story is taking place in Seattle, Washington. And uh, May has moved there from Atlanta, Georgia, um, and near the beginning of the story. But then after Libby dies, May's parents divorce. May ends up moving back to Atlanta um, and only visits her, her dad during the summer. So one summer when she is 17 years old, um, four years from when Libby has died, she is walking around the streets of Seattle and on a lamppost, she sees, um, like kind of behind a bunch of paper, she sees this character and she says, what? That's Princess X. That's, that's the thing that I've created. And so she, on the bottom of the um, 
the poster, it says, I am princessx.com. And so uh, May takes that uh, poster home. She does research. She pulls up um, princessx.com on her computer, and she discovers that Princess X is alive. And so May starts to think that Libby really didn't die in that car accident, that she has somehow survived, and she is leaving clues within this online comic book of Princess X um, for May to come and save her because she's gotten herself in this bad situation somehow. And so May has to follow the clues that Libby has left in each of the comics that she has on the computer. Um, so that May can save Libby from whatever situation she's gotten into. And so it, this story is incredibly suspenseful. You really don't know if um, Libby really is alive. You don't find that out until near the end of the story. And you don't really know where Princess X is coming from until near the end of the story. But it's a beautiful story of friendship, of survival, of love really um, between uh, two friends um, and so I loved this book and I thought it was so cool because you know it's a pretty pretty small worded book but then kind of throughout the book he the author has written she has put in there several of the Princess X comics so you can actually see um, the clues that Libby could be leaving May so that she could come and find her and save her. So I would highly recommend this book. I don't know if I would have put it in the JP library or not, um, just because the characters are a lot older and some of, um, there's nothing inappropriate or anything, but some of the characters um, in the story just have, um, they're just more, you know, high school oriented. So I would recommend it for a fifth grade, um, especially if your name is Hannah Everly. Um, you would probably really enjoy this book. So, go pick up I Am Princess X by Sherry Priest. Um, enjoy it. Love it. Tell me more about it. The book that I'm reading right now is right now in my suitcase. I've got to get it out. I was traveling this weekend, so I've got to get it out. And that book is called The Boy on the Wooden Box. And it's a true story of World War II. I've read a lot of World War II books this year. So, it's a true story of um, a boy... Um, and his survival in World War II. And I'm only about on the third chapter, and I absolutely adore this book. So I'm really excited to finish it so I can move on to something else and tell you about some more good books. That is it for me. I miss you guys a ton. I um, think about you all the time. I'm always wondering what you guys are reading. And hopefully, um, I'll get to see you this weekend because I'm coming to Bartlesville for Santa Shop. Okay? All right. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to... Keep reading.